Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking at the 2021 off-year elections, the Virginia governor race, the New Jersey governor race, as well as the New York City mayor race. Um, just one by one, discuss what I do believe is going to happen, analyze what we have so far. Um, taking a look in Virginia, again, Ralph Nordham unable to run for re-election. Uh, Democrats that are still in the race, uh, former state delegate Jennifer Carroll Foy, uh, I don't see her as a possible winner. Uh, current state delegate, delegate Lee J. Carter, I don't see him as a possible winner. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, I do absolutely see him as a winner of the uh, as the winner of the primary. Former Governor Terry McAuliffe, um, most likely is going to end up winning the nomination. And uh, State Senator Jennifer McClellan, I do not see her running. As uh, Mark Herring, who I originally thought was going to win, uh, he has withdrawn. Uh, I don't remember if I discussed that in December, I don't remember. Um, so, we uh, most likely Terry McAuliffe is going to end up winning the uh, Democrat primary. He's going to end up being the guy. And polling based off Wikipedia. Based off Wikipedia. And this is an insider poll for Jennifer McClellan. Oh my god. Uh, McAuliffe is... Uh, uh, being is favored by this one poll, which it's probably nothing if we had to guess. Yeah, sponsored by the McClellan campaign. Uh, the Republican convention it will be chosen by you know, uh, mem like I don't know much about conventions, but if I had to guess, excuse me, if I had to guess, there but a bunch of deli of Republican members, elected officials in Virginia, come together and choose. Hey, who's gonna represent us as for governor? Right now, we have State Senator Amanda Chase. I don't see her as a viable uh, winner. Uh, State Delegate uh, Kirk Cox, 100% do think he's a possible winner. Uh, former Deputy Secretary of Defense, Sergio De La Pena. Uh, I could see him being a winner. Uh, small Government Activist, Merrill Rutledge Jr., don't see him winning. U.S. Army Vet, Kurt Satini, don't see him winning it. Entrepreneur, Pete Snyder. Um, possibly, depends on how he runs his camp. Uh, businesses, Glenn Youngkin. Um, I don't see that per uh, that person being a, uh, possible winner. Uh, we do have some more potential, uh, candidates. Neil Chatterjee, the, uh, former chairman of Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. He can end up running, but I don't see him being a viable winner. Uh, Barbara Comstock, former congresswoman from the 10th, di Virginia's 10th district. Um... Maybe. Again, similar to Pete Snyder, how she, it just depends on how she runs her campaign. Uh, Emmett ha Hanger Jr., uh, a state senator from Virginia's 24th Senate District. Um, I don't see him being a viable winner. Uh, Bill Stanley, a state senator from Virginia's 20th Senate District. I don't see him being the um, viable winner either. So, um, we have people have declined. Charles William Carrico Sr., Nick Friedis, Corey Stewart. Um, they've all declined. Uh, there's no polling on Wikipedia, and I haven't seen anything on RCP either for this race, and I don't think we'll see uh, much polling at all. If if we do see any polling, it'll be, like, in late October, and that's about it. Uh, but Kirk Cox is essentially being endorsed by almost everyone. <laughs> um, but, but Denver Riggleman, you know, everyone's favorite Bigfoot, naked pictures enthusiast, yeah is a, the former congressman of Virginia's 5th. He's considering a bid uh, as an independent-minded Republican, whether that means he runs for a third a, uh, as third party or what. Um, if he does run third party, expect the race to go safe blue. But between McAuliffe and Cox, again, McAuliffe is very controversial, but in Kirk Cox is very popular amongst Republicans and maybe even some like moderate Democrats at the same time. Um, I'm going to put his likely D. Let's make the map all nice and pretty, because, yes. I'm going to say likely D, um, but I do think McAuliffe will win by eight or nine points. Uh, going on to New Jersey, um, uh, again, uh, Phil Murphy has declared he's going to run. Uh, S Stephen Sweeney, the president of the New Jersey Senate, he's not running. He's already declined. Um, for some Republicans, we have Jack Ciotarelli. A member of the New Jersey uh, General Assembly, I could see him being a possible winner, especially with these guys who have little no name recognition. Uh, Doug Steinhardt, probably the uh, probably the only person who probably uh, could have ran against Ciotarelli. Uh, 
dropped out. Joe Piscopo is still considered a potential pick, even though I think he should have already announced by now. Um, he's mulling a run. I don't think he will run, but if uh, he does end up running, I do think he'll be a, a viable winner. And Jack Cirarelli, you know, you know, very popular among the other politicians, getting a bunch of endorsements. Um, again, and there's also no polling for the uh, race at all. And t let's take a look at 2017, because essentially, as of this point, it's going to be Phil Murphy. Oh, okay, I thought Jack Cirarelli was the nominee in 2017. My bad. But uh, he did end up winning by a safe margin, 56%. Um, I think that's how much you buy. Essentially winning it the same margin by what Joe Biden won in 2020, something like that. Um, I see it getting closer, but not in the likely margin. Still safe blue. I do think Jeff Van Drew is probably the best choice for Republicans. If he decides to run, I don't see why he wouldn't want to run. It's not like his congressional seat's up at grabs in that year anyway. Uh, going on to the New York City mayor race, a debate has happened. Um, I haven't read up much of it. I just found out it happened before this video, but I will take a look. I will take a look at that about you know what people think are Let's see. Uh, eight candidates met qualifications for the debate. Those who qualified: Andrew Yang, uh, Stringer, Raymond McGuire, uh, Sean Donovan, Buildable. Oh my God, I was about to say Maya Wiley, Adams, um, Lori Sutton, and Catherine Garcia. They were on the debate. I uh, haven't seen anything about who they thought have won it, though if I had to guess, Andrew Yang sat there patiently like a nice little child. We love you, Andrew. Just stop with the whole pack, court packing thing. Um, Eric Adams, the Brooklyn Borough president, I don't see him as a viable contender to win. Sean Donovan, the former director of the U.S. Office of Management and Budget, I see him being a viable person to win. Catherine Garcia, Commissioner of the New York City Department of Sanitation, most likely could end up seeing her win, depends on how uh, people uh, say she did with the debate. Raymond McGuire, former City Group Executive, I don't see him as a possible winner. Carlos Menchaca, New York City Council, Council Member from Brooklyn's District 38, I don't see him as a viable contender. Diane Morales, a former Social Services Nonprofit CEO, I can, I can kind of see her as a contender to win. Scott Stringer, the New York City Comptroller, can't pronounce that word for shit. I could see him winning it. Uh, Lori Sutton, the former commissioner of the New York City Department of Veterans Services, I could see her winning it. Maya Wiley, new school professor. That's a thing? Um, I don't see her as a viable contender just based off the fact that she has um, been in associate with association with Bill de Blasio, who is very unpopular. Andrew Yang, everyone knows who Andrew Yang is on this channel. But other declared candidates, like, you know, all these no-name people that we don't have to worry about. Uh, there are still some potential candidates. John Castum, not even good for, not even going to try that. Billionaire businessman, Republican political donor, probably, I guess, I don't know. I don't know much about this guy. I don't see him running. Al Franken, a former U.S. Senator, I really don't see him running. Eva Moskowitz, don't see her running. Christine Quinn. Maybe I might run. Uh, Jeff Zucker, don't see it. People like people who run like media and all that end up no don't end up running all that often, despite what uh, many people want. Um, Foreman explored to many but did not run. Uh, Max Rose, of course, we all know that, but uh, that was probably because he was named the special assistant to the U.S. Secretary of Defense for COVID nineteen. That was pretty pretty good. Um, I wish he'd have just also endorsed Andrew Yang, but that's just my thing. Um, some don't, some, um, endorsements here. You know, Sean Donovan has a whole list. Uh, Scott Stringer has an entire list. Andrew Yang has an entire novel. <laughs> has a novel of freaking endorsements. Martin Luther King III. Um, Ron Kim, does that, let me see. Yeah, I think I know who that is. That face does look familiar. Richie Torres has endorsed him. A Republican has endorsed him, which I don't blame him. Uh, two Republicans have uh, endorsed him, but uh, this one's, you know, anti-Trump. We don't know if he's really Republican. 
I joke, I joke. But, and we do have a bunch of, um, good old um, pulling right here. And Andrew Yang dominates the entire list. Uh, his best performance being 61%. But then again, that's only against Eric Adams. So that number will most likely be lower. And yeah, expect the, um, expect this to go into multiple rounds. Um, that might screw over Andrew Yang, who knows? Um, there's not, we haven't had a good, uh, example of who ranked choice voting, um, of what, of who ranked choice voting is, uh, in favor of. Um, and, because we had the chance in 2020 with, uh, Susan Collins and Sarah Gideon, but we didn't get that chance. Susan Collins won 50% of the vote, so there was no need. Um, some more polls, Andrew Yang still leading, but... He's not even in this poll right here. Johnson leads in the uh, third poll, but that didn't include Yang. Some head-to-head -head polls. Yang beating everybody. Um, Republican primary. Curtis Lua, essentially the only uh, top guy for Republicans, unless Andrew Giuliani wants to run. But at this point, I don't see it. Neither Trump is probably going to run. I don't see uh, Simba Simadi in running either. Eric Ulrich has already said no, so don't waste your breath. Eventually, so right now it just seems like Slua versus Yang, and I gotta give it to Yang. Like, I don't see, uh, the only Republic I see winning is Andrew Giuliani, just because of his relation to Rudy Giuliani, who was very popular in New York City. But there you go, a blue wave, uh, year with Democrats only having to worry about Virginia, but not that much. But anyway, guys, this is the Chaotic One saying, peace.